Hi children, good morning. Today we are talking about chapter 8, quadrilateral, class 9. I am talking about quadrilateral family. This is a revision of class 8. We can think about what is a quadrilateral, what is quadrilateral family. What family this one? You know many family, chiaical family or Indian family, Kerala family, like that. Many things are there. Collateral family. Yes, collateral family. What is a collateral? Tell me what is a collateral. Collateral is a close figure. Close figure or shape. Made up of. Made up of. Line segment is a correlator. More classes we study. A cross figure made up of line segment that is called correlator. No, a cross figure made up of four line segment. You have to add this one. All of you, please. A cross figure made up of Four line segments that is called collateral. Now I have to tell about polynomial. Collateral polynomial. What is a polynomial? Tell me what is a polynomial. It is a cross figure made up of line segment. A polynomial that also a cross figure. A cross shape made up of a cross figure or shape made up of made up of line segment. Okay, it must be close. A cross figure made up of line segment. That is a Polygon, a close figure. Polygon, polynomial, sorry, not polynomial. It is a polygon, gun, gun, or polynomial. Polynomial means another one, I will tell you. I am explain that. Polygon, not G U N, not gun, gun, this polygon, not this gun, AK 44. No, it is not. Polygon family means. A cross figure made up of line segment. Polyhedra means a cross figure made up of four line segments. Another polygon, smallest polygon is triangle. We know baby polygon is a triangle. Three sided cross figure. Two side, no, it is an angle, it is not a polygon. Two side, no. You are an angle only. What does an arm other? Angle. You are an angle. One side, you are a line segment or you are a ray or you are a line. One side is line, two side, two arms or two rays, that is a angle, angle P O Q, this one, angle P O Q, one angle. Three side is the, that means you are a triangle, P O Q is the triangle. Three sided cross figure, baby polygon. After the four sided, that is means collateral, five sided pentagon, then hexagon, septagon, octagon, nonagon, decagon, like that. You study that class seven and eight. What I am talking about collateral family. Remember, baby polygon is triangle, baby polygon, smallest polygon. A triangle has three sides. Three angles, three vertices. That means six types of triangles are there. A triangle has no diagonals. No diagonals. Because diagonal is the line segment joining the opposite two vertices. But a quadrilateral has two diagonals. Diagonal property 
Many properties are there for quadrilateral parallelogram, rhombus, rectangle, B cap. But here I am talking about no triangle, actually polygon. From polygon, grandfather, grand grandfather, quadrilateral family. What is the name of the family? Quadrilateral family. All of you, please remember, please underline, keep in mind that quadrilateral family. Sir is today explaining about quadrilateral family. A new family. But it is not new for you because last year also we studied about this family. Quadrilateral family. Four-sided cross figure. It has two diagonals. Okay, fine. Quadrilateral family. First one. This family has two members. One brother and sister. Sister is unmarried, not married. She, her name is the kite. Listen, listen carefully. Kite, everybody know kite. What is the property of a kite? This is the kite. Adjacent sides are equal. Adjacent sides are equal. If this is 7 centimeter, this also 7 centimeter. If this is 10 centimeter, this also 10 centimeter. That is a kite. Not married, I told you, not children. But here, for later family, this brother married and first he can say that family, trapezium. What is a trapezium? Trapezium. Trapezium. Tell me what is this? Trapezium, trapezium. Okay. Trapezium. What is a trapezium? It's a quadrilateral, yes, I know. <coughs> Sorry. It is a quadrilateral. Trapezium means one side is parallel. See? I am drawing a trapezium. One side is parallel. This side is parallel to this side is parallel. Look, another side must not be parallel. Trapezium. Parallel only. Parallel only equal. No, parallel. These two sides are parallel. In a trapezium, one pair is parallel. Suppose this is A, B, C, D. We can say A, D parallel to B, C. That much. One side, one pair of parallel side that is called trapezium. A four-sided figure is collateral. Collateral we can draw, see, and drawing a collateral. This is a quadrilateral, four-sided figure. This is a quadrilateral. Four sides are there. That is a quadrilateral. Trapezium is one side is parallel. I know it has two diagonal, no properties. One side is parallel. I saw so trapezium is there. That is another one. Non-parallel sides are equal. Here it is not an isosceles. Isosceles triangle, you know, isosceles trapezium, non-parallel side. That means another pair is equal, one pair is parallel. They are not equal. One pair is one side, one pair is parallel. Then after the trapezium, then we can see here very important parallelogram. See the spelling, parallelogram, parallelogram, spelling. That means, parallelogram means one side, another side, parallel, and this side, and this side, parallel, almost. PQR, PQRS is a parallelogram, parallel. 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 If both are parallel, it will be equal. That means a parallelogram is a correlator. Pair of opposite sides are parallel and equal. First one. 
parallel and equal because it is parallel pq parallel to sr and ps parallel to qr so pq is equal to sr now another one opposite angles are equal parallelogram opposite angles are equal angle p is equal to angle r angle s is equal to angle q i think you understood opposite angles are equal opposite sides are equal and parallel a parallelogram is a trapezium but trapezium not a parallelogram trapezium is a collateral parallelogram is a collateral because four sided cross figure now in trapezium we are not talking about the diagonal two diagonals are the right now but no properties for diagonal but for a parallelogram third property opposite angles are equal parallel opposite sides are equal opposite sides are equal and fourth property what i can say diagonals are bisectors diagonals of a parallelogram bisect each other bisect be careful bisect suppose this is 5 cm 5 cm if this is 6 cm this is 6 cm bisect means cut into equal parts remember bisect they are bisect point of intersection so please in parallelogram you can see diagonals bisect each other bisect bisect means cutting to equal parts in that please remember whenever you are talking about bisect normally you have to understand what is intersection intersect two lines are intersecting here it is intersection point of intersection or oh, point of intersection here or oh, point of intersection l n m r p o p o q q o like the point of intersection is o oh, angle here point of intersection vertically opposite angle we can say o is the point of intersection two line l n m point of intersection all of you please note that intersection point of intersection two lines are intersection we study through one point many line we can draw correct many many line but two point only one line we can draw here point of intersection you can see now my concept is bisection bisect mean bisection by bi means not by 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 binocular bicycle to cutting to equal part cut into two equal parts two equal parts i can bisect the line suppose line segment not line line i cannot conserve uh, by so because line has no end points no length we cannot draw a line we can represent a line now. a line segment suppose this is 14 cm i can bisect this one cutting in the middle 7 cm 7 cm cut into two equal part that is called bisect now trisect in the section i told you trisect that means cut into three equal parts but because it is trisection 15 cm 5 cm 5 cm 5 cm trisect means cutting cut into three equal parts all of you write this one bisect trisect cutting into three equal parts in this quadrilateral we can bisect we can see many time bisect intersection bisection trisection trisect triangle try try trisect triangle okay fine that you understood i think so what i am telling parallelogram we are in a parallelogram parallelogram many properties we studied which are the properties four properties i wrote here 
parallelogram you yeah, are talking about the fourth property you are a parallelogram yes diagonals bisect each other diagonals of a parallelogram we can say parallelogram like this parallelogram parallel line bisect each other remember after this parallelogram all are his children each other this parallelogram property will be the from parallelogram they are two children one is rhombus always i am talking about rhombus not combus and here rectangle before that we studied trapezium quadrilateral yes now parallelogram this is a parallelogram remember the spelling and the short form parallelogram now diagonals bisect each other rhombus is son of the parallelogram because all properties are there 1 2 3 4 5 but one more property is other rhombus is a parallelogram sides are opposite sides are equal and parallel but it is a rhombus means all sides are equal all sides are equal another one diagonals property diagonal bisect each other because it is a parallelogram understood all sides are equal okay so all other properties are the diagonal bisect each other plus all sides are equal rhombus if this five this five this is five this is five now what about rectangle yes rectangle is very very familiar to you or obviously we can say rectangle all properties of a parallelogram and what we can say here opposite sides are equal and parallel parallelogram angle 90 degree it is slant no 90 degree here it is tried rectangle is tried angle of rectangle 90 degree are you following on now here one more thing every quadrilateral has two diagonal but rectangle diagonals are what is this diagonals are equal and bisecting diagonal bisect each other because it's a parallelogram but here diagonals are equal two diagonals are equal a b c d we can say a c that is equal to b d bisect each other is a parallelogram here sorry rhombus diagonals are perpendicular bisect what do you mean by perpendicular bisect see it is a rhombus you are a rhombus because all sides are equal here rhombus no parallelogram this is not this is 5 cm no it is 10 cm sorry it is 10 cm parallelogram opposite sides are equal and parallel rhombus all sides are equal rhombus all sides are equal listen here i am drawing rhombus in another color look <coughs> rhombus rhombus almost a rhombus we can say p q r s 10 cm 10 cm 10 cm 10 cm all sides are equal and opposite sides are parallel diagonals are perpendicular bisect is remember the diagonals a perpendicular bisect not here diagonals are perpendicular bisect rhombus is a parallelogram so it is a bisect perpendicular bisect means 90 degree for rhombus and square perpendicular bisect diagonals are not equal because of d1 into d2 the formula of area of a rhombus product of the diagonals but diagonals of a rectangle are equal not perpendicular bisector they are 
bisecting each other because of parallelogram. Parallelogram is the father. Parallelogram, rectangle is a parallelogram. Rhombus is a parallelogram. Now, last one, sixth one. I like this baby polygon. That is our favorite. You know the square. Square, sir, yes, all angles are equal 90 degree, 90 degree, 90 degree. And all sides are equal, maybe 6 centimeters, 6 centimeters, 6 centimeters, 6 centimeters. My dear children, please understand what is the difference between rhombus and square. Square is the son of the rhombus. And it is the daughter of this rectangle, mother and father. So all property will be the property. So parallelogram, rhombus, rectangle. Square is a rectangle. Square is a rhombus. Square is a parallelogram. Square is a correlate. All properties will be. There. Okay. So please, square has all properties. Diagonals are equal, perpendicular bisectors. All sides are equal. Opposite sides are parallel. Opposite angles are equal. Parallelogram opposites angles are equal. For square, all angles are 90 degree. For rectangle, all angles are 90 degree. I think you understood the concept. Another module I will come, I will explain you. If any doubt is there, please ask me. Today, I am disc I discuss about this, what I told about polynomial. Polynomial means and sided close figure. Am I right or not? Polynomial, pentagon, quadrilateral, triangle is the baby polygon. Triangle has three sides, no diagonals. Quadrilateral, four sided, two diagonals. The quadrilateral family, six are the kite is that I told you, kite is a sister, not married, no children. Another one that is the quadrilateral family here, the brother, name is trapezium, and his children are parallelogram. And rhombus, rectangle, square. That means parallelogram. Be careful. Parallelogram is a trapezium. Parallelogram is a quadrilateral. Square is a rhombus. Square is a rectangle. Yes, sir. What are you talking? Square is a rectangle? Yes. Square is a rectangle. What is the property of a rectangle? Opposite sides are equal. And parallel. Angle 90 degrees. Square also same thing. Opposite sides are equal. All sides are equal. That means opposite sides are equal. And angle 90 degree. That is correct. Angle 90 degree. Now parallelogram. Square is a parallelogram. Rhombus is a parallelogram. Rectangle is a parallelogram. So it has the parallelogram's property. Two diagonals are the... If you are a parallelogram, diagonals bisect each other. Yes, sir, that property is there. But for square and rhombus, similarity is there. All sides are equal. That is why diagonals are perpendicular bisectors. Don't confuse. Square diagonals are equal, but rhombus diagonals are not equal. Because you know the formula of D1 into D2 is the area of the rhombus. If diagonals are equal, what is the use of D1 and D2? But for rectangle, diagonals are equal. Square and rhombus comparison is that opposite sides are equal, correct? Square, opposite sides are equal, all sides are equal. But 90 degree angles, 90 degree, all angles are equal. For collateral formula, regular collateral is square, equiangular and EQ equal side. Now, for rhombus, equal sides are they're not equiangular. That is why rhombus, the diagonals are perpendicular bisector, but not equal. But for a rectangle, 90 degree angle, so diagonals are equal, not perpendicular bisector. Diagonals are bisector because it is a parallelogram. Please, please remember this. Don't confuse. Okay? Now, if you have any doubt, please ask me. All of you, please, tomorrow, in a for paper, this assignment, you have to draw the correlator family. Correlator, what is a correlator? Four-sided close figure or four-sided close. Uh, yes, figure made up of line segment. 
circle is not a collateral. Understand? Four-sided cross figure. Then after that we can say trapezium. One side is parallel. Parallelogram. Two side, two opposite. One side, no. One pair of side is opposite sides are parallel trapezium. Isosceles trapezium also be careful. Then after that I told parallelogram. Very important concept. Diagonal property also. The, if you are in a parallelogram, diagonals must bisect each other. Then two pairs of opposite sides are equal and parallel. Opposite angles are equal. Now after the rhombus, you are a parallelogram. All properties of a parallelogram plus sides are equal. All sides are equal. Rectangle, all properties of a rhombus, parallelogram plus what I can say, not all properties, all properties are uh, parallelogram and plus angle 90 degree. Square, maybe polygon, maybe quadrilateral. So all properties of a quadrilateral is the diagonal perpendicular bisectors, diagonal is equal, opposite sides are equal, opposite angles are equal, pair of opposite sides are parallel. Okay, then I think you understood. Any doubt is there, please, please ask me now. Clear? Okay, then bye.